Hello folks, today we're going to talk about a piece of lore that was created primarily for the Neverwinter game itself and is not part of the larger uh, lore in D&D, &D, uh, unless this of course is considered canonical, I'm not sure that the game is, um, but this is going to be the lair of a huge, uh, I guess gargantuan red dragon called Larathdor. And Larathdor is a... Uh, kind of interesting creature and appears as part of just a small bit piece as part of the larger maze engine story which is part of Out of the Abyss. Out of the Abyss is an actual tabletop role-playing game adventure for D&D so we can play through that. The way that the Neverwinter team interpret it is they've created a mission for us where we get to go to this dragon lair. And it's got some pretty fun moments um, plus a lot of creative design by the team that is very visually appealing and I think stimulating for DMs. Uh, so we start by having, in theory, taken this ferry by a Zentarum uh, boatsman across the Underdark, so a deep underground. And we are going to uh, appear, we are here in the town of Mantle Dareth in the Underdark, so you can see this is actually a huge cavern pretty neatly designed. Um, there's a, a large part of the quest that takes place here that maybe we'll talk about later in a different um, lore segment. But for now we're going to go on a fun mission. The idea is we're taking this boat. It's going to take us through the undersea and we're going to journey from Mantle Dareth underground to the old dragon's lair. This is not a, a dragon that I know from D&D lore, so I think it's its own creation based on other D&D dragons. Um, we're not here alone on this quest. We're accompanied by an NPC, non-player character, that features often in this Neverwinter game, Makos, uh, Tiefling. Uh, and he is a powerful sorcerer, I think. Yeah. So we'll talk mm. to Makos. This area seems a bit more active than I thought it would be. Mako's is going to be nice to cast gained, Feather Fall on us because we're about to drop we'll down jump and through this pit, shoot into then this dragon lair. The, lair the dragon does the appear, or at least aspects Don't of this lair and dragon cast appear in the dungeon that you can play. Made a um, but it's a, of the a lair's different floor. setup. Um, I'll follow you once you've reached the bottom. And we're here because we want to gather this orb that is tied to a wizard, who, which is tied to the overall maze engine that Baphomet, uh, Demon Lord, is creating. So let's just jump down a pit. And it is a very big fall. So, you know, this is kind of neat in and of itself. Imagine you're creating a dragon lair. And the dragon has this really good defense mechanism in that there's this enormous, huge, long, almost never-ending pit. Uh, maybe with little bits of lava visible at times, like you just saw there, before you arrive at the bottom. And so you need something like a Featherfall spell, this is still an fly or something like that, to get you down here. Um, this is not just a dragon lair, it is also a old Cult of the Dragon is why the orb is there. Uh, to get there, we're going to go through this really awesome looking landscape. You can see dragon statues, dragons soaring overhead. It's not just La Flap Door, but several different um, dragons that fly around, as well as young dragons that, this being a video game, we can just kind of crush and destroy for apparently no reason. Uh, I am playing a wizard, and I am coming in with lots of fire spells here. Not one of my stronger characters, but it's good enough to get to this dungeon. The lava uh, is hotter than anything you've encountered. You'll be dead the minute you touch it. Makos is going to give us some big tips like, hey, lava is super hot. That's always fun in video games. Uh, proving his worth. Lay down this rock. Here's a fun thing. I'm sure I'll die here, but there is a word if you make it alive. So you can wait for Makos to cast a spell. Or you can try to hop from one stone to the other. Uh, you make it uh, the first time, and then there is a benefit you get. You make it. All right. Impressive. We're doing that. I got an award called 
hot take. Let's get a fun little title unlock. And Mako's joins through a portal. He's smarter. Perhaps Visceron didn't lose Look at that fridge visual. All. Right, how cool is that? The crumbling it. ruins it's around us that uh, are all underground. Lava rivers pouring through. Uh, both. Uh, actually, thought that was a statue, but it's actually Red Dragon watching us while others fly around through this area. And you have know, falling, falling, uh, burning rock, I guess, in different parts. Pretty neat. And pools of lava everywhere. Pretty sweet layer to drop. Plenty of Red Dragon. No return. We're gonna drop down here. Surely the dragons see us. Why are they not attacking? That's a good question by the dragon. Oh, fireball their way. Oh, the big, huge falling chunks of rock that fall from the ceiling. Now a bridge to cross. It's kind of neat. Imagine if this were an adventure, we. Have to do some checks here, maybe even topple a pillow over a pillar over first, and then we can cross it. Get into some ancient ruins, fight some different denizens. There's some glimpses of rooms beyond that we can't actually explore. Gives you that sense of depth. And this is going to be a fun part. We're going to get to a the dragon run, if you will, where the dragon saves us. Um, this is an, another part that's quite challenging. You get an award if you do it the first time, but it can be hard. Makos is going to cast Expeditious Retreat on us to help us get away from the dragon. Dragons look awesome in the game. There are a number of cases where you can fight them, so maybe I'll do a video about the different dragons. I'll hasten us! Run! In this case, our job is to run and lure off the door. They do a fun trick where they start you facing the wrong direction. So you've got to turn around and go this way. You've got this sort of super speed, but it's not easy because there are falling rocks. And meanwhile, if we were to turn around, if we're not going to, the dragon is right behind us. Um, and has a, a sort of superheated breath that hangs behind us, and so if we take too long, it'll catch up to us. In addition, the dragon friends help out. And this, you know, it's it's a pretty gonzo concept, but something like this could be a fun idea for the eventually. Dragons laying down fields and fire and we've got to evade them. made it, we were trying to arrive, and uh, unlocked another faster than an ancient dragon, another fun uh, title. All things considered, we I believe we're actually close to the artifact. So we made it through the dragon lair to this old um, room maintained by the cult of the dragon where we're going to find a lich. The name of this lich is Zalia. This is a uh, Feyan lich. Really cool looking lair, cool looking lich. Really neat idea for what's behind her. It'd be cool if we could talk to her. She's got tons of treasure locked up. Bottles and things like that. It looks cool. I like the idea of her power. She summons skeletons. Throws down spells of all kinds, fire. It's 
down dangerous fields and lightning. Really quite cool. Um, but it's not particularly hard to defeat. Actually, they take down Mako, so he's not doing well. I lost her powers a bit. That's probably what she has. Copper. Is the Lich a guardian? Or just an opportunistic mage? Excellent question. Um, we're gonna get the orb. Mako wants it. The orb! I'll hold on to it. I should be able to divine Viseron's location short. And that completes this lair. So, pretty fun. Short stream. Uh, we get back to the Underdark. Uh, we'll talk to Bruiner Battlehammer, famous from the Just Dorita series. Uh, here. There we go. Uh, so, in the, in the future, we'll cover more about the Maze Aging, Maze Engine campaign itself. Hope you had fun. If you have any questions about more of this, let me know.